Hey, hey, it's Ben and Renee. And today is Monday, October 3rd, 2011. The EGUSD College and Career Fair is coming to Consumnes Oaks on Thursday, October 6th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. There will be representatives from UCs, CSUs, private and out-of-state colleges, so make sure to be there. Track athletes, there will be a meeting today on the track at 6.15 for all men planning to participate on the track team. Christian Club meets today in HM2 for first lunch and HK1 for late lunch. Our guest speaker, Pastor Phil Fuller from First Baptist, will talk about how God helps us through the pain. Today we'll also be signing cards for Davis and Moot's family and signing up to take meals to them later this week. This week's National Honor Society meeting has been canceled. However, project report forms are still due to Miss Winslow in HM2 by Friday. There will be a women's Bible study starting this Tuesday during late lunch in HK1. We will be learning about influential women in the Bible. So Ben, what'd you, what'd you do this weekend? Um, I did a whole bunch of stuff, but I couldn't make it to the football game. Let's get back on the ball with Kevin and Theron. Good morning, Wolfpack sports fans. I'm Kevin Penfold. And I'm Theron Hollebeck. Let's jump right in with some football news. Last Friday, the Wolfpack football players defeated the Galt Warriors at Galt with JV winning 35-7 and varsity with a score of 45-7. This Friday's home game will be against El Dorado Cougars, and as always, JV starts at 5 and varsity at 7-15. Today at 7, our guys' varsity soccer team plays at Vista del Lago here at CO. Right now, the guys are 1-0-3, and they haven't lost a home game yet. But today, they have a tough challenge ahead of them playing against a 5-0-0 Vista team. Be out there to support your team as they go for an upset against the number one team in the league. There was a cross crunchy meet this Saturday at Willow Hills. The varsity boys lost to Lodi by one point, but the varsity girls won first place with 15 points. The next meet will be this Wednesday at Rancho Seco. Yesterday was just one of those days in the NFL. It was a day where no lead was safe. The Lions came back from being down 27-3 to keep their undefeated title. The Bengals make a stunning comeback against the undefeated Bills after being down 14 at the half. And the beloved 49ers came back against the Dream Team Eagles after being down 17 at the half. A crazy world we live in where the Lions are undefeated and the Colts can't seem to win a game. Well, that seems like all we have for the day. Remember, that's Kevin Penfold. And that's Darren Hollenbeck. Stay on the ball, Wolfback. Thanks, guys. Students interested in attending the Oregon Shakespeare Festival field trip in Ashland this year, there will be a mandatory parent meeting on Tuesday, November 1st from 6 p.m. in HE5. The meeting for October 3rd has been canceled and the first deposit will be due November 1st. Join your friends for this month's Wolfpack Wednesday at Rubio's located on Elk Grove Boulevard. Come support Consumers Oaks on Wednesday, October 5th for lunch or dinner. We hope to see everyone there and remember to show your school spirit by wearing orange and blue between 5 and 8 p.m. This fall, Wolfpack Theater is producing Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Tickets are available in the student store, the web store, or from any Comedy of Errors cast member. Tickets are $8 for general admission, $6 for senior citizens, children under 10, and ASB card holders. The dates will be released later in the month of October. The COHS men's basketball program needs a large number of individuals to help run the JV and varsity basketball tournaments this coming December. If you're interested, please swing by Coach Ross's classroom, HJ2, to get your name on the volunteer list. Don't forget that the sooner you sign up, the more hours you get. What would you do if you had all the money in the world, Ben? I would probably get, like, a sick new Camaro. Do you want to know what I would do? Not really. Let's play the video. <laughs> What would I buy? Probably food for people that can't get any. I'd buy a charity and buy Jaina a Range Rover. A mansion. A li I'd get a limousine, uh, uh, a Mercedes, and a Cadillac. I would end world hunger. A big house. A whole new wardrobe, you feel me? Um, I wouldn't even buy anything. I'd just give it all to Lil B. I'd buy a plane, TV dinners, 
I'd buy my mom a new house and myself a Lamborghini Diablo. Let's I would buy a giant penguin. A big house. A very big house. What would you buy? A unicorn. <laughs> I would make my own dance company. Like a couple Range Rovers. Um, a mansion, um, cars, and I'll go shopping. I'd buy a really big house. And I would go shopping. Why? I'd buy so many clothes and like shoes. <laughs> I'd buy cloning technology so I can clone myself, then fight myself to the death. A Segway. These things are. I would buy a red Mini Cooper with a butterfly door, like Lamborghini doors on it. Ooh, with some with some gold rims on it. Ooh, with some like black gold, like maybe maybe platinum. Yeah, and then the trunk would like open up. Oh man, it would be so raw. You don't even know. Okay, cool. I buy the. I buy the. I buy the chicken. <laughs> FBLA will meet today in room HD5 right after school. If you are interested in joining, go check it out. Seniors, there is 20 spots left for the October 15th trip to Discovery Kingdom for five fresh. The trip is now $65, so pick up your field trip form and return it with the money to the student store as soon as possible. All black student union members, if you would like to have your role as officer, you must have your statement in by Friday. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Ben Marjat. And I'm Renee Gonzalez. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Wolf, wolf Pack TV, TV over and out. out.